All right, guys, I'm back again. Um, seems like I'm still getting a lot of questions about uh, my last video I put out, which it was about the XP pen working on the Lynx operating system. Well, I'm here today to give you a new information that will help you guys because um, XP pen just last month dropped a new uh, drivers for it. So I was able to download it and actually get it to work. So I'm going to show you a few things what needs to get done and then from there um, I'll explain much as I can and then also put some important information uh, in the description below so that way you guys can uh, know what to do I'm going to try to explain as much as I can it's not going to be a fancy super cut editing video I'm just going to just keep talking that way um, try to put the information out much as I can and also try to demonstrate much as I can as well so you guys can get it to work now if you remember in the previous video I was able to get it to work um, but there were some things I had to get done uh, first um, the Linux Mint will look at the the monitor and the art tablet and treat it as this one whole uh, screen for some reason you know um, even though if you look at it it says there's two monitors but it treats it for some reason as one whole screen if you activate the touch function from the uh, from the settings this one here eliminates that problem also on the previous video there was a command um, I could remember what it was but it was a command where you tell it you know what input what uh, you're using and then separate that so that way the resolution be correct for the touch screen to work um, that's also been taken care of you don't have to go through that process um, as well and also the XP also have their small app so that way you can customize everything remember I said before on the, the uh, video uh, before they all the buttons on it work in, in the art program I was using but if you had to use another program, it will not carry it over. You have to customize for that one. Uh, but this new update, now it has its own XP Pen um, application like you see in Windows. And you can customize all the hotkeys for it. And you can take that with you no matter what, um, which is great. So also before I um, go further on with the video the other thing was the pen remember I told you the pen had two buttons on it uh, at the top and bottom but the the second one uh, was not available because it was exclusive to the application which only works on Windows and probably I'm assuming Mac um, but just didn't work in Lynx so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this uh, one by one and show you what I have done do this now remember I'm going to just go through this um, hopefully you guys uh, take this video and if, if it does end up um, working for you please just give me a thumbs up um, spread this out much as you can it's just you know I make tons of video a bunch of random videos I don't know what I'm doing with my channel to be honest with you. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do but but this one here is it's going to be for to educate people to get this to work on Linux. So some people are not Linux expert, and sometimes these apps that come out, and then you look at these commands, and people have this long stare, and they're like, "I'm not doing this because I just don't know how to run this. I just it looks very basic, but when you tell me to run this on the terminal and put this command, that command, and this and that, or go to this, I don't know what I'm looking at, and that's what the majority of people are are saying. So. I'm here to try to simplify as much as I can. Um, and again, XP has been working pretty well their end what they're doing. Again, if this was on the 28th of last month. It's not even been a month this driver just came out. So I'm going to go ahead and, and demonstrate this. So let's see what I can do here. Um, let's start with the website here. So the website is the XP pen. And what you do is, is um, you head up to the support and you go to download and then when you go to download you go down and find your tablet now I don't know 
far as how the pro works because it has the ring on i don't know if you can um use it or not it might work by default it'll just start working but i don't know i'm i do know i think all the artists um tablet that only has all the hotkeys i believe they will work now the one i have is the artist 15.6 so i'm going to hit and uh open up my product and then i'm going to go all the way down here and you'll see the newest one just popped uh on the 28th of last month i mean it was like it's not even a month yet and this came out on the 28th and this caught me by surprise i this is something i picked up last night tried to install it i was able to get it done and it worked and i was really happy with the result um again here's all the flavors here you got you you got your ubuntu your mint your red hat you know um all the other flavors that you guys use it's here and this should able to help you so you go ahead and download this here and leave it in your download folder when you get to that be sure to unzip that file um it's really important to zip that file so that way it becomes a folder once you unzip it and becomes a folder you have to open up your terminal um let's see if i have this terminal ready nope. all right so the terminal here um it's real important because uh it it allows you to to activate the program but before you activate it you have to install it and to install it you have to um go through the command which is um your cd and then i think it's cd space and then you have to put in the name so for me it was uh, cd and then download you have to type the word exactly i was written in linux so remember it might be different in windows but linux is different a lowercase d is not the same as a capital d so you have to keep that in mind. So if the word download is in there and it has a capital D, you have to put a capital D. Otherwise, it's just not going to recognize the folder or at least the location. So I believe that you have to put CD space and then put downloads. And once you get to download, you'll see like a blue prompt will come up and then <clears throat> hit um, DIR for directory. And then you'll see what's going on in that folder under downloads. You'll able to see the, fo the folder you unzipped. You also see the actual zip file as well, but you wanna to get to the folder. So you wanna get into the folder and tell it to install it. How uh, that will be the part will be left under the description below um, how to unzip it. Um, I believe if I'm correct, it might have something like that. Let me go ahead and X this out because it's going to eliminate my program. This is important. So I'm going to close the terminal here. You see it's gone. So I'm going to open up again. Let's see if I go through some of the commands. As you see right here, um, this is what I used. Let me see what else is in here. All right, so it's these two. So as you can see, you'll see it says CD home. Then it's under your name, your profile name. Then it goes under your downloads. Remember, capital D is important because that's the way Linux works. You can't have lowercase d and then expect it's going to be the same. There are two different characters. And then once you get to that, you get to the Linux uh, pen and then you'll execute it. Once it's done, you'll see like a bunch of commands will start coming down. That means it's installing the program inside. Now, once that is there uh, uh, in, and installed, now you have to activate this program. Um, it's not an icon you go up and you'll see it and it's like you hit the program It's not like that. So they're not all the way there yet, but this is a good start once you get there um, Then you're gonna have to put this command hit enter and you can see you're already in you see how it is It's it's a uh, downloads Linux uh, tablet and you see it's in blue. That means that you have did the directory correct correctly uh, from your prior search so make sure it's CD select so download Linux and then you'll go there once you're in there that means you're inside that Linux um, tablet folder the folder itself not the zip file that's still compressed the actual one that you unzip you're inside that folder 
if you DR, it's going to see whatever's in there. But for it to activate the program, you have to type this here. We have to uh, type sudo uh, space dot uh, backslash, you know, pen driver dot sh. Once you do that, it will ask you for your password. You put that in and it will activate your, your tablet. So let me show you what it looks like. Um, this here. Now, this is where the fun starts because now you have this program here and now you can able to have access both buttons on the pen. You got your, your, your right mouse button and you have your other one. As you can see, I got to set that up again. I don't know why I took it off, but I think it's um, control Z. That's that's to undo from my pen. I can just hit it once and it'll just undo the, the artwork on it. Anyway, so you have this. This is under the pen itself. And you can see up top, it recognized the pen itself up here. It says artist 15.6 because that's the product I have. So it knows. Now the pen, you, you can customize it those two. And also you go to mapping. And it's going to look at the screen. This is something you might have to adjust, okay? And, the, and when I mean adjust, I mean it's just by selection, not not uh you have to configure anything. It's just like you have to make sure if you're running multiple screens. Um, you see right now it's a screen two because that's the correct screen I have. If it's under screen one, it looks like this. That's not the tablet. Then you just got to go and select screen two, and whatever whatever the label will come up. You know that's your tablet. Once that is done, you can go to key, and this is all the function that do the shortcuts for your for your tablet. This is the same way it is on Windows, and I'm sure it's probably on on Mac as well. You can customize everything on this, and it's great because this allows to run anything. It's still one profile uh, program, so if you open up Krita. It's the only profile you can customize in this. Like you cannot change it. Um, unlike Windows, where you can have each application, each of them has a shortcut. So in Windows, I had all the shortcuts and stuff done for Krita, but then also in Windows, I use Auto Desktop, and I have different shortcuts for that program. So this is a start because I couldn't even get this to work, and I'm pretty fair on Linux. So once that is done, just hit save. Don't close this app and don't close the terminal as well. And the reason for that, because if you close this app, then you lose the say the you disable the function to, to work your tablet. You close the terminal, it'll close this app, and again it will lose the function to work on a stylus. So you leave it open, just minimize it. That way it'll just eliminate the problem. Just minimize it, out of the way, no problem. So we have that established. The next one we want to work on is the art program itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, grab my art tablet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start from scratch. You see, you see the cursor is moving and it's accurate. It's not like air off or whatever it might be. I can start a new one and there I go. So I can go ahead and just start uh, doing whatever I want, how I see fit. And the good part about this is that it responds pretty well. So you know what's going on here. And again, this allows you to, to get an idea of what's going on on 
in your tablet because now you can customize it to your liking. That's the best part. And that is, is the thing that we all need as artists because we need something simple, we need something different. Sometimes some people don't want to run on, on Mac and some people don't want to run it on Windows. It's just some people are like that and people like to use Linux. Uh, gives them the freedom to do what they want. So, so that's what I was able to do for Linux. And again, by doing that, it's made great progress. I mean, it's working perfectly fine. And, and the best part is that when you close the terminal, you can just hit the arrow to go back to those two commands and you're back in business again. Best part. I mean, I, it's, it's been incredible. I really enjoyed this whole, uh, this whole uh, process that XP Pen have been doing, you know, and they and, and I'm credit to them. They've been trying to get this thing working pretty well. I think they they're starting to see the value of having a proper driver running on Linux, and and I give them prop for doing this. So, so this has been excellent as far as them getting it done, and to try to get it to work because I tell you what, that last one. It wasn't such a good driver. I mean, and the instruction wasn't even all that great either. And let me go ahead and just delete this. So I can, you can see how yeah, I'm just, I'm hitting the pen and it started deleting the stuff right out. So it just shows you that this is functioning perfectly fine. And I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the stuff at the, the, uh, the description below to finish what needs to be done. Um, there, the, I also will leave a website uh, where I found the command to get it done because it wasn't for the community that helps each other. I don't think I was able to get this um, working. So, so I guess I'm pretty much saying I, I'm happy I got this working. I'm going to probably end up uh, getting another one. I'm probably a much bigger tablet and give this one to my daughter because she loves to draw and. I think we're all going to be okay. So remember guys, wash your hands, keep your distance, and I'll see you in the next video.